Hello, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and it is my great privilege to give you this talk today on Product Interface. Product Interface is a very, very powerful tool that can be found in the Tools menu. And what it does is it really answers the question, how can I have a streamlined product design schedule? How can I have more things being done basically at once? So just imagine that this one single part file is the industrial design for a product. As you can see, I have a top case, I have a bottom case, maybe I have a battery door under here. But this product interface ability enables me to basically label and make available the different portions of a model to downstream applications so that anyone who's working with me can get the benefit of this design. And if I change it, it will automatically uh, wave through and change their geometry. So the reason why this is so powerful is because I can do my industrial design and continue doing it and not necessarily finish it before I hand it off to the product designers. The way it works is you click on Tools, Product Interface, you select the portion of the model that you want to label, label, then you click on that entity and you can say interface properties and you can label it top case or whatever other name is appropriate so that's now the top case I could even give it a description I can say this is the top case and I can talk about the thickness or give it some description that will help then I can click on the new button and click a new portion of the model this is the lower extrude and I'll click here and I'll say interface properties and then this is going to be the bottom case enter say OK now I think I might have done that wrong because I think I need to click on new and I'm going to filter for uh, solid body and grab that I think the last one only selected the extrude so I'm actually going to delete it I'm going to remove it and I'm going to go into this one. That's the whole solid body, including my little hole pattern. And I'm going to say interface properties. Here we go. Bottom case. So I made a little mistake there. Lots of times you learn more from your mistakes than your successes, so they say. I'll put in a little description. This is the bottom case. And say OK. So that concludes what I need to do to label these and make them available. Now in the old days you would have to bring this part file into an assembly and then from that assembly you would have to create components and you really needed to go through an assembly to have uh, wave geometry linked information go from one part file to another. But now as you can see I'm just going to create a new part file called top case, top case let's call it top case 2 and a new part file file new called bottom case bottom case 2 there we go and now I can easily say insert associative copy and here's the wave interface linker wave interface linker all I need to do now is find the model that drives everything. I click on it. I called it part modules. And what you can see is in that part, there is a top case and a bottom case. So now I just click on that label and say OK. And the information, the actual model, comes into my part. So of course now what I would do is start uh, creating all sorts of ribs or whatever little features I needed to have in this part file and I would just work on it as if it were mine and I had full control over it I'll just make a little piece of geometry sticking out in here so you can see I'll say unite, let's unite that there we go, there is that and now I might even say window top case 2 and I can say insert associative copy 
wave interface linker, find the part that I was putting all the interfaces in, go to the top case portion, there's that, and now I can start making changes to that. Maybe I need some sort of hole pattern or, or just a regular hole in there, so I'm just going to grab that little face and stick a hole right in the middle. I'll use the midpoint command. So there's that. And a little dimension. So we've got 8 millimeters there. And I'll just let that hole go in. Great. So there are the changes that I'm making to top case and bottom case. Now, to demonstrate how this all works and how powerful it is, if I go back to the original part, and in the original part, I drove the whole thing with a sketch. So I'll just make this 200. And you can see that I've made a major change now to the geometry that's driving everything. And if you go back into the top case too, you can see that that has now updated. You go to bottom case too, that's automatically updated. And as you could imagine, if all of this can happen at once, if I can actually use this product interface, I'm going to be able to shrink my schedule because instead of working the industrial design and the product design in series, I'll be working them in parallel. So the time savings that one can have with this is incalculable. It could be weeks and months, and it can enable you to get your product on the market faster or at least give you more iteration time and get a better product. Either one is extremely valuable. Again, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries. You can find a lot more of these videos on our website, nxtutorials.com, or you can go to designviz.com, and I'll see you on the web. Thank you.